Greetings everyone. As I have promised in my previous video, I am making this video about how to get through ascension symptoms without going mad. And although we have just exited from one portal, we're going to go right into another portal and our energy is going to be influenced once again by this portal. So this video is to help you get through all of these portals that are coming up. And as has been explained in my recent channeling, the reason that we are going through so many portals and so many transitions over and over again is because a lot of the old energies have been ingrained into our DNA, into our psyche and the way of life. And a lot of the old belief systems need to be released. Preconditioned ideas erased from our subconscious. As you understand, human bodies, or what our galactic family likes to call human vehicle of time and space, have been infused with so much information for thousands of years that it's going to take a while for everything to be cleared and it cannot, it, can, it simply cannot take overnight. So we must work towards releasing everything from the past. We can do that actively by using the letting go and release exercises. I spoke about that and I continue to speak about letting go and releasing very frequently. You can find various guides that I have written on my blog at sacredascensionmirkava.com. Here I would like to give you an example. For example, your present reality has been influenced by a set belief system of your parents, your grandparents, and the list goes on. All of this information has been transferred to you. A simple example would be a word association from your childhood. If you think of a certain word, it will bring up a certain set of emotions within you. Associations with negative emotions need to be readjusted. It is very important to understand that the reason for this occurrence and release the triggers of the past. Speaking of the triggers of the past, I have written an article that details my own experience of finding and releasing my own triggers, which once again you can find at sacredascensionmerkava.com. So once again, you can help yourself to get through this process of release by actively releasing and letting go everything from your past. We all know that our words, the words that we choose to express ourselves, are the words that will form our experiences. If you wake up in the morning and you set your intentions that you will have a difficult day, you will have a difficult day. If you set your intentions on positivity, even if your day won't go as you planned and you encounter a problem, you will look to see the reason for this occurrence, and instead of getting frustrated, you will truly begin to understand various synchronistic events that are designed to assist you in your journey. Even if you don't understand why such and such negative, as you believe it to be, event has occurred, by changing your attitude towards that which is happening with you, you will shift your consciousness into positivity and truly invite a positive flow of energies into your life, aligning yourself with various opportunities and truly enjoy your journey. This keeps happening much more often than you think and if you truly analyze your life, if you analyze your day, you will see these synchronicities happening over and over again and you will begin to welcome all experiences, whether you perceive them to be negative or positive. But going back to the ascension symptoms that we are all experiencing, it truly can get tough at times as your body is changing and yet your mind is holding on to the past. The friction of what your mind knows and that which is coming its way is causing a lot of tension to occur. The pushing out of the old and the welcoming of the new is not always a pleasant experience especially if we are put through a vacuum of sorts where all the old energies are literally being pushed out of us. So during these quite turbulent and yet incredibly beautiful times of ascension, most of us will be and are experiencing issues with our heart chakra. For example, with this particular portal that has just passed, 
many are reporting and I myself personally experienced a lot of heart fluctuations. My heart began to hurt so much that I could not move. I had to use a few tools at my disposal in order to get myself back into balance. It was very difficult, but it was something that had to happen. It had to be released. So once again, I'm referring to the portal that has just passed, but these ascension symptoms are happening for years now and every one of us is going to experience it at different times because we are all at different levels of ascension that's why it's so important to be aware that what you may be experiencing in your body is nothing serious and you shouldn't be so worried about it definitely not panic over anything but analyze it and and see how you feel why you feel this way try and figure out for example what has happened right before you started feeling this way what emotion came up what triggered this response but once again most often than not the reason for that is because we're going through various portals and we are being tremendously affected by all of these energies so if you're having heart pains or muscle cramps vertigo nausea heat flashes all of this are normal part of ascension and as your kundalini energy rises you're going to experience a lot of these symptoms however of course if you are worried do go see your doctor do make sure that everything is fine with your body if they can't figure it out why this is happening you know the reason you know that this is temporary you know that this is here to assist you you know that you are to look at your emotional state figure out where that is coming from and release it so what can we do what do we have in order to remain calm and keep our sanity intact well the number one thing that I recommend to all of you is to stay calm I have outlined various techniques on my blog on how to do that but here I just want to focus on one particular technique that works for me and works for many people so here's what you would do if you can't stand up you can remain sitting put your hands together into a prayer like position make sure that your back is straight as straight as possible and your feet are touching the floor now put your palms together into a prayer position and stick your arms right between your thighs this will calm you down within seconds otherwise if you can stand up stand up straight with your feet touching each other and your hands once again in a prayer position in front of your chest concentrate on your crown chakra and your base chakra and ask your higher self or your guides or the angels whomever you feel most comfortable with to align you with the source of all that is just align you with the source of all that is through your crown chakra and the core of the earth through your root chakra and now allow these energies to circulate all around you and you're going to begin to feel calmness you're going to begin to feel as if some heavy load has been lifted off your shoulders sometimes though this breathing method fails because your mind is just not allowing you to relax it keeps spinning various thoughts over and over again in your mind and it's very difficult to calm yourself down naturally if that happens to you there are various homeopathic remedies available for you to choose from I like to use Bach flower essences Schusler cell salts and regular standard homeopathy which was created by Dr. Hanneman I'm not going to talk about standard homeopathic remedies here because they are very individualistic and they do require a professional to choose the right remedy for you but I do want to draw your attention to rescue remedy Rescue Remedy is a flower essence combination. It's readily available all over. I'm sure you have heard of it before, so this is just going to be a reminder for you. This mix was created by Dr. Bach to deal with emergencies and crisis, and it can be used to help you get through any stressful situation, from last minute exams to interview nerves, to the aftermath of an accident, or even bad news. So Rescue Remedy helps us relax, get focused, and get the needed calmness. So please, get yourself a spray bottle and carry it with you at all times. 
Be sure though not to store it next to your computer because the computer frequency will definitely interfere with the energy imprint in the bottle. Once again, the flower essences are completely safe, however most have alcohol base and if you're thinking of giving this to your children or you have issues with alcohol, please look for non-alcohol based solution. The next remedy that I would like to draw your attention to is on cell salt remedies. This is one of my favorite remedies, I love them. They are just incredibly fast acting, they're wonderful, they're very safe and they work wonders for the body. The only downside to them is they're lactose based, so if you're diabetic or you're lactose intolerant, it's, it would be wise for you to look for them in liquid form or you can dissolve them in water, making sure to swirl the water under your tongue because all homeopathic remedies must be placed under your tongue as that's the place from which they can enter your bloodstream extremely fast and start working right away. So I'm going to mention just one remedy here for you right now. It's called Caliphas number six. Depending on the country in which you're from, the numbers will vary. So look for the name specifically, which is Caliphas. And what you're looking for is a 6X potency, which is a standard potency that is used for cell salts. You can purchase this once again at any health food store or online. And Caliphas is an, a phenomenal remedy. It not only will calm you down instantly, but it will also provide much needed brain food for your brain. This remedy alleviates depression, confusion, memory loss, nervous tension, anxiety, and so much more. If you're overstressed or if your child is overstressed over exams or they're tired in school or they can't concentrate in school, this is the remedy to go to. If you are depressed, this is the remedy to go to. If you are under stress, this is the remedy for you. Once again, very safe acts extremely fast so take a look at it online do your own research always put everything that you hear through your heart to make sure that this resonates with you if you're not resonating with these remedies please don't use them as your body is just not ready we're all familiar with essential oils and what I have found that rebalances me very quickly are three oils bergamot lavender and my favorite menthol it really is a beautiful remedy for sinus issues that I personally experience very often. So as soon as I smell menthol, I come down, my mood improves, I get very happy and I suggest that you use that for that. However, if you're going to use Bach flower remedies or any other homeopathic remedy such as cell salts, etc., stay away from mint. Mint and coffee will break the frequency and the remedies will stop working. And finally, I would like to draw your attention to crystals and energy tools. This is a very exciting topic of mine. As many of you know, I have been talking about specific tools for a while. And we all know that crystals hold healing energy frequencies and information. In fact, many articles are coming up now where scientists are proving that it is possible to program crystals, but we already know that. So I'm going to talk about my favorite tools by Natalia Ankh. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. Maybe some of you are tired of hearing about it, but the reason that I keep talking about it so much is because they truly work. I have tried many different tools, but these ones have specific energy vibrations that are so very dear to me that I feel. I feel these vibrations. Since I'm an energy healer and I work daily on removing and adjusting energy frequencies, I remove a lot of dark entities, I remove implants, I remove various dark thought forms and I was asking for a while from Archangel Metatron because I communicate with him daily. I have been asking from him for a while to lead me to something that is going to help me, that is going to substitute for my own energy because it does take a lot of energy to constantly be aware of your surroundings and be protective of your energy field and all of a sudden Natalia has contacted me said that she was visited by Metatron and he asked that she create a tool for me 
I was surprised, but then again in today's world, we all know that our angels work behind the scenes relentlessly. They work very hard to align us with various opportunities. And that's also that I always talk about that you have to be open to opportunities. When they come your way, don't delay getting in touch with various people. Go for it. Your angels have already prepared these people for your arrival. In any case, so when Natalia brought this disc to me, and I'm talking about Archangel Metatron's disc, I was astounded. The power that was coming from that disc was immense. I cannot describe in words what I felt when I held that disc for the first time. And when I tried it in my healing sessions, everything changed. I did not have to spend that much time on protecting my energy. I did not need to spend as much time clearing my energy. I could simply focus all of that energy on those who came to me and that was a blessing that was such a relief later on we came to the realization all of us and there are many healers who have this tool by now that this is not just a protecting and clearing device that it actually connects all of us and somehow we are linked together in this web of healers web of light workers and through these tools somehow we actually started to communicate telepathically it's quite fascinating many people who have these tools are reporting incredible results so once again I'm going to mention this to you Archangel Metatron's tool is amazing please take a look at it I also like Saint Germain's the violet transmutation disc and I also have a story to tell about that disc once again, Natalia's tools, all of them are amazing, but as I said, Archangel Metatron's and also Saint Germain's Violet Flame Transmutation Disc, that these two are my favorite, as well as Archangel Michael's. I work with Archangel Michael every single day, and I never spoken to Saint Germain prior to receiving this particular tool, but I had an incredible experience with it. I took it with me and I went for a conference healers conference and when I walked into the room there was somebody on stage and she was talking about clearing energy she started talking to all of these people in the audience how to release the energy and so on and so forth and all of a sudden I felt this urge to grab onto my disc and I was told to stay put not leave the room and assist her in clearing these energies she did not know any of this I never spoke to her about that but Oh, I saw this disc activated. I saw it activating and I saw so many angels flying into the room and they were directing me where I should be pointing this disc to. And there was this one woman in particular that they wanted me to clear and when I pointed the disc at her, nothing was helping her. Throughout the whole session that she was having with this particular healer and there was a huge audience there, but for some reason this healer, she kept pointing to this woman and asking her if she's being helped and she kept saying no 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 and she did not understand why what was happening and I saw this dark entity that came right out of her as soon as that disc was being pointed at her and that truly amazed me that this tiny little device has so much power of course we are activating all of these devices it's true we are the ones activating them, so keep that in mind. Your own energy needs to be infused as well into these tools. And as you work with them, or any other tool for that matter, I'm not just specifically talking about these tools. Any tool that you work with, any crystal, you infuse your own energy into it. And the more you work with them, the more powerful they become. I hope that you have enjoyed this little, very long, guide on how to survive the ascension symptoms thank you so much for listening once again i'm sending you a lot of love and light and abundance and health and joy i truly do care about each one of you i truly do wish you all the very best i want you to be happy i want you to release all of that stuff that's holding you from moving into this new world i want you to see it i want you to feel i want you to experience seeing your guides being connected to your own self 
because that truly is the most magical moment when you finally see your own self for the very first time and make that connection nothing else becomes important and from that point on you change completely internally you change so much that you are filled with so much love you no longer seek that love out from anyone else in fact you become the portal for that love and you want to spread that love to all so I hope that you will find that moment I hope that you will get there I know that you will get there and experience this for your own self thank you for listening goodbye